it's not sold to me this way. I want to have a, a Hollywood trailer where the entire plot, conclusion, and every development is already told in the trailer. You know, if you watch eight Hollywood trailers of one movie, you've seen it all. Actually, who am I kidding? If you've seen one Nature trailer, you've basically seen the movie. Come. Someday, this will make a great story. Battle begins in ten seconds. Peace. Regen globes. I heard was bugged. This talent. So we can go grounding. For accumulating flame. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one for both damage and resistance, I think. So you have to uh, burn people with fire. And when you do that 30 times, you get resistant every time you put people on fire. One second per hero. And you're doing bonus damage. So it seems the best. Oh, he got silenced in PTR, the Brightwing. Maybe it carries over from main. Ah, uh, that's kind of clever to say Zarya's on you, go. It looks like our Zarya doesn't know how enemy Zarya works. Burns completely through all the shields. <laughs> um, it looks like E casts slightly faster. You're covered. Okay, I will jump in now. Wait, we didn't do the top lane. <laughs> the standard 032 rotation. Oh, barrier on you. I thought Zarya's on you. Ah, that makes more sense because she wasn't really on me. I would have known. Yeah, I could be mistaken, but it seems like the spell fire casts faster. And there's three missing, so they should come for me. They could come for me here. There's two missing, one missing. I see two one one. This is just so that Kerrigan comes for me to cancel. Let's go. This is just so that Zarya wastes a Q on me. This is just so that Zarya wastes another Q. <laughs> Stop it, Zarya! Nobody likes you! Get in there. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to be careful not to interrupt your own drinking. That's my Saturday, Saturday Night Live advice. I like this one a lot. Ring of Fire. Though I think Deadly Strike is the best. No, let's try Ring of Fire. Hey, that's a lot of damage, isn't it? Wait, is it? It's a pretty high percentage of burning rate. It's better for wave clear, too. And you don't need to use W first. They both seem really good. Uh, Kektos quest though. 60 damage. It does 60. So that's uh, double damage. On a pretty low damage spell. 60, 120. Okay. Flying kick is much better to buff. And it happens instantly. But you also get a second charge. In which case that's a quadrupling of the damage. And bigger range. Adventure it's, it's kind of interesting, actually. It is time. Now, this guy needs to watch the Kerrigan combo video that I'm about to put out. Zarya is on you. 
she just said. It also increases the radius. Okay, but it doesn't say so. Level 7. Uh, boulder flavor. One second extra after drinking. And it instantly shields you for 419. Which is half of what you can have. And my quest is 20 out of 30 now. Which gives me 40% bonus damage at the moment. And then you have that reflecting elixir thing. Oh, refreshing elixir. Increases regen and all healing effects by 20%. 60 when drinking. That is so good. I just wonder whether it's too safe. Adventure awaits us. Or brew balance. Good old brew balance. I'll get that one. What a pick me up. They got me. I wonder whose barriers are first. Mine or Zarya? Rip. Like, when I drink and Zarya shields, I expect her shields will go off first, right? But I don't know if it's true. Kektos range increases after finishing quests now, in addition to adding charges. Yes, I see that. But it's actually uh, the charge as well, okay. what does the life. I'm the charge also I'm happens on. after the quest. I see. Five more and then we get... What was it again? Resistant. Uh, three more, and then I can uh, get my quest. Oh, that is great. Let's try Storm Earth and Fire. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes. Wow. Of course, I pressed my alt right as... Uh, <laughs> Right as I got Polymar. This timing. It's not easy. Alright, let's try. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Oh yes, movement speed. Uh, I kind of thought they were like the old one in my micro, so I didn't really think about what's what. But if I'm not mistaken... Fire, E, gives you attack speed. Uh, w gives you I bonus movement you. speed. Hello, my brother from across the blue. Would it be possible to see some Kerrigan action from you? Oh, that feels great. Um, yes, on the live server, not on uh, PTR. So I'm looking to play kind of all the new PTR content, Tribal Hots. And thank you very much for the $5. Really appreciate that. And then I'm looking to play ranked. And that's later today. So how much does my E do damage now? Let's look at it. I have to hit it first. Come on, Tracer. I'll put it on your 84, 82, 82, 82. Okay. How much is that? 82 times 3 is 246 plus 152. Oh, I forgot because I'm playing too. Oh yes, I got resistant from it. Interesting. Again, right as I press my alt. Uh, slow to 40%. Okay. And then... 
Setting an enemy hero on fire reduces their... Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Reduces their ability power. By 25% for three seconds. Every five. Going to pull back for now. No, no, if only I reduced his ability power. Rip. Hi, Sauron Morgoth. The alternative was flying click. Flying click. Flying kick slows the enemy target for 40% or 80% if they're soaked in brew. If they're soaked in brew. Drenching affected enemies in brew. Oh, okay. Isn't it funny that brew for me is fortifying, but for opponents it makes them slow and drunk? Shows that Chen can outdrink anybody, even Zarya, who's supposedly Russian. I thank you. <laughs> Looks like the panda is now the one who puts other in danger, Kappa. Unbearable puns. The halogen. Man, Power Rangers is strong. So let's just see what it does again. Split into three elemental spirits for 12 seconds, each with three quarters of your max health and a unique ability. If all three spirits are killed, Chen will die as well. Storm can grant your spirits movement speed. That's your Q. W can leap to an area and slow enemies. The fire grants attack speed. They are a body blocking menace. Ice Genara says, hey, just watch your video about the new patch on YouTube. Thank you for the great explanations. My pleasure, uh, Sajinara. My pleasure. Thank you. Is brew balance still must be? Uh, no, you can go with refreshing elixir, I think. I can imagine going refreshing elixir if you skill into CC. But I think if you kind of want to play bruiser style, it's different. Uh, increased range, 20%. Interesting. Kick smash to reduce basic ability cooldown. What? Oh yeah, of course, I didn't pick it yet. They all just died. I am the champion. Chase this. Uh, fortifying Brio also shields allies. Let's try another round. Many things I'm going to pull back for now. Let's go. Well, you can fire someone twice. Thanks to this, you can have another round. Look, and that one still activates the brew as well because the brew lasts for three seconds. Two fires on one target in a single rotation. So sick. This could be it for me. Especially if I walk away from my team wall. 
Another round? This one is uh, pretty sick. Oh, wow. Two fires, one target. And this one, flying kick range. Does this, does this have any synergy? Q build, range 20%, slow 40% or 80 if you brew them. Okay, so most likely the way that this one will work out, you initiate once, you Q someone, they're 40% slow. Either you walk away to dodge a stun immediately, or you will continue your rotation, WE. So they will get slowed by 40, oh, yeah. then by 25%, then you kick them again. So five seconds later, actually, this is only three seconds. So if you immediately W them after you Q them, you do not get a bonus. Ah! Wow, that ult. Yeah, so the pressure point... Generally, I don't think if you play as usual, we'll get 80% slow all that often. Can you kick the kick, the kick and so on? I don't know what you mean. Now, if you get another round instead of flying leap, you could kick, brew them, fire them, kick again that one is reduced you brew them you fire them you kick again 80 percent yeah so i think they're quite strong and i i think another round may be better than flying leap for that reason because then you can truly kick every two seconds and they'll always be brewed when you kick them i think well, for one of them anyway hard to say and then you would have deadly strike, obviously, which is crazy. Meantime, in combat land, because I haven't been paying that much attention to the game. All right, let's uh, let's focus on the game for now. We've uh, pretty much done our talent picks. Now we need to kind of uh, pay more attention. Oh yeah, the level 20. <laughs> Let's go. Basic abilities, who are you? Get in there. Taste this. Let's just uh, defend here. Purifying brew. The next stun or silence has its duration reduced and resets brew. We can go for that one. See how that works. Yes, you could kick every two seconds. As long as you make sure you uh, have kick be the next thing after kick smash. I kind of feel like doing the conduit upgrade, but I'll get the brew. Let's go. Pretty level 20. I initiated that. Oh no. I thought, man, but we were 19.9, but I thought we'll reach it in just a second. So, that was uh, pretty interesting. I thought we were going to reach level 20 already. And then it looked like Brightwing was alone. But, they all came back. GG? Not yet! Okay, GG. can stay alive, right? So, 
this is a very late relentless it gives you more brew it doesn't seem very strong to be honest this is like the equivalent of bolt of the storm now show damage yeah we have like good damage but we also died a lot we have damage could we jump in still cool to see how chen works um that was only one of the builds I, want, I just want to take him out for a spin in try mode really fast. MVD. Wait, they added Relentless at 20? How confusing. <laughs> uh, for desk. I brought Brightwing. Epic. What did they just say? Effect? GG. What is your computer chair? It's a computer chair. I don't know the brand. Because they cha they rebranded and stuff. Alright, let's check out Chen in try mode. Just kind of test the other builds. Oh, epic. Okay. Oh, gladly. Always wise to sample the wares. Alright, let's see. The elusive brawler activate to evade all enemy basic attacks for two seconds. Your basic attacks reduce this cooldown by three seconds. Fascinating. <laughs> That's a good one. It's kind of like Artanas then, isn't it? We can use it again. I like it because it makes you very mindful of uh, using your basics. It seems very powerful. I would probably go Elusive Brawler over Freshest Ingredients. Choose a talent. Okay, now let's try out... Yeah, let's just go for that one and let's say that it doesn't matter because they're all about uh, survivability. This one also adds damage, but I don't really want to focus on that one. I want to try out the Q build. So you get that Q. Probably with Q build you want bonus movement speed from Brew Balance. So that you can chase people down. Um, let's say that you go for Keg. Pressure point. And then instead of Flying Leap. Although I'm curious about the range increase. Another round. So you find someone. You kick them. You w. You E. Oh. E got reduced. E again. Never quite giving him 80% reduction. You would actually need to start by a W, Q, E. Wait, why did W? Oh, yes, we have two charges. Oh. We do, don't we? No, we don't. That's only if we get Kektos. Never mind. Greetings, so, friend. Let's try again. W, Q, E. So we got the big slow there. Try a little storm he seems very sticky but you'll never get the 80 percent unless you plan for it like if you initiate with q you never get the 80 percent i think i will go this way hey thank you for the resub yaxer 10 months so you would have to surprise someone w kick on them then they get slowed you kick on them again they get slowed a bit and then you need to wait with your kick smash until your Q is on three seconds cooldown like that I think yeah it seems pretty good okay so it's actually not that difficult Can't to proc, so long as you don't uh -huh. start with Q. You want to drink first for the bonus damage on Q? Sure, good point. So, like now a Q does 218. But if we drink first, just a bit. Q, W, E, drink. All right, W. Oh yeah, we don't have brew. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, that's true. So, you walk up to someone, you W, drink, Q, 
crit. Do it again. But I don't get why my W was on such a sm small cooldown. I guess because I start with it. W. Oh, because I, I ended on it. Ah. Okay. Again. Adventure again. Awaits us. W. Drink. Q. P. E, Q again. New challenger. Enemy slain. Okay. Well, that makes Chen pretty tactical. Doesn't it? W. Drink. Q. Hit. E. Hit. Q. W hit it preferably. <laughs> okay. I, I, I see, I see. That's pretty cool. Hey, we're still in barrel roll, but we have no talents. Okay, now let's try the W build in its entirety. Mm. So let's say we do that with accumulating flame. Kick toss. That's a good one. Um refreshing elixir. Storm Earth and Fire. Let's say we go for a touch of honey. We could go pressure point here because we're gonna have so many cactuses. But let's say, yeah, let's let's do that one. We can all envision what W is gonna do, 25 to 40 percent slow. But to actually see pressure point being way easier to proc the, on the W, that one is I think more illuminating. And then we we'll go for another round. So you have to hit 20 times. We can do that with the uh, cooldown reduction. Three. It has to be on a hero, obviously. Yeah. We could do it on the tri mode, but I like owning Arthas. Yes, they'll be Hero League later. I just want to try out all the new PTR content parts to show you guys what's up with the new heroes. Okay, we complete the quest. It now has bonus damage, 60. Um, of course, we have not yet finished this one, but that one don't matter too much. We get bonus regen while drinking. So our regen now is 12. We drink, it's, it's 17. And originally it wouldn't have been 12. We already have that 20% bonus. Okay, pretty interesting. It's not a lot, but if you get Regen Master, which obviously is the one to take when you go for a refreshing elixir, it's different. I just don't want to spend time collecting globes now. So the range on W now is really big, as you can see. <laughs> wow. Of course, let's turn off cooldown reduction. Of course, E doesn't follow the same range. Wow. Funny man. Funny man. Now it's easy to hit your pressure point. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna take a touch of honey that readily. Okay, now we're a CC monster. I get it. Yep. That's gotta be it. So you throw a kick from very far. If you hit someone, you can follow up with the Q. Slow them for 80%, which is kind of like the old pressure point, but it comes a level earlier. It is a weaker one than the old one. The old one was always 90% in one second. No conditionals. No 40% sometimes. No need to be soaked in blue, but it was at 16. Nonetheless, we gotta work with what we got. Let's go. The W damage itself is not too bad. It's uh, sitting at uh, 161 now. So earlier I said that it doubles the cake damage. That was only true at low level Chen. Because the bonus damage doesn't scale, it actually becomes weaker and weaker by comparison. So it doesn't grow as much like most talents would. It has negative scale. I mean, not negative, but lower than average scaling. So that, that's a bit unfortunate. I guess it keeps it really clean. 
and the bonus quest reward is actually the main component the range and the second charge okay interesting so just to show once again the the spirits they can attack very fast they can jump only two of them apparently and they can move very fast uh, let's see that one more time in DPS on the uh, try dummy. Storm, earth, fire, heed my call. So their standard DPS is roughly 300 at level 18, uh, 275, let's say. Okay, now let's try with their attack speed activated. Wait, how often? Wait a se- Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I have the cooldown thing on. But yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to check anyway. Because I want to see what the DPS is during it. So I'm just going to keep reactivating it. And then we'll know the DPS with it. Though, of course, you will not have it for the entire duration. Wow, who would have thunk it? That when you activate 100% bonus... Attack speed, the DPS goes up by double. Hmm. It was more than double though. Look at it. It's more than double. They say 100%. But our DPS... Is actually double. Okay. Good. Who would have thunk it? Now, let's go to level 20. And then figure out again what Choose elemental conduit can do. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Storm, earth, fire, heed my call. This time I don't use the cooldown reduction. Wow, they become unstoppable. Okay, so yeah. Always attack speed as long as he's alive, so it's not 5 out of 12 seconds anymore. That's more than double in their DPS. Leap cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds, and normally it's 1. Normally you can do it every 6 seconds. Reduced by 3, so you can do it every 3 seconds. But notably the air guy doesn't, which is actually kind of cool, because it stops you from committing one of your pandas since you now die when you when you lose all pandas it's just the two that you would want to have go there and i wonder does he still have burning rage aura it is not and then uh, the q makes you unstoppable but of course you can only do it once and it lasts for five seconds Really strong, really strong. Now let's see if you can solo the boss with it. Not exactly. Uh, undoubtedly Chen can solo the boss, but it would take a long time. Long time. Okay. That was pretty cool. That's pretty much all I wanted to test. Yep. Hmm. Chen! If all three spirits die, Chen is killed. Spirit health increased to 75%. Now also increases the movement speed of your spirits. Wow. Greetings, friend. Some grubby Leap. stream at my Slow. birthday evening. Feels good, man. Thank you, Real Krillax. Happy birthday. Happy Malfurion birthday. Increase the basic attack speed of your spirits by 100% for 5 seconds. Wow. 